Hello everyone. I am so honored to be presented with this award tonight. I would like to begin by thanking God for giving me this amazing opportunity to be here today and for helping me through all of life's obstacles. I would like to also thank Coach Miller for granting me this highly acclaimed position and for never doubting my abilities. With that being said, none of this could have been done without my family and friends who were there for me every step of the way. For those of you who are here today, I would like to thank you. I know much of my time has been consumed by practices and games. Time that I could have spent out with the boys or at the dinner table enjoying a home cooked meal. However, this job has been a huge commitment for me and I'm glad to see that all my hard work has finally been recognized. Believe it or not, being the water boy has not always been my passion. I used to love being on the court with my brothers, coming to practice every day, taking the bus to away games or waking up extra early before school to get a workout or a shoot around in. I was all for it and I was pretty good too. I still miss the feeling I would get before each game as adrenaline rushed through my body, leaving me unable to stand still. I love sitting in the locker room surrounded by my teammates, listening to the music and getting mentally prepared for the team that we are about to face. I loved hearing the muffled cheers of the crowd through the locker room doors turn into loud, clear screams as coach opened the door for us to run out for our warm up. Nothing to me felt better than going out to eat, to a party, or to lay back at someone's house after a Friday night home game. Not to mention all the memories I made and that I will hold with me from staying overnight at hotels and college dorms for summer camps to long bus rides and weekend tournaments. Sometimes I wish I would have taken more time to enjoy these moments, knowing now that they would get cut short much before I imagined they would. It wasn't until I suffered a tragic ankle injury that I got to where I am today, being told by every doctor I visited visited that I would never be able to play the sport of basketball again was truly heartbreaking. I had suffered injuries before, but none of them had, resulting, had resulted in a recovery time of such length. Every doctor I went to for another opinion told me that after surgery, I wouldn't be able to play in the upcoming season. For me, with future plans of going to PA school and into the medical field, that meant I would never be able to play organized basketball again. With all the memories of unforgettable seasons and rivalry games that I experienced over the years of playing basketball with my teammates, when Coach Miller came around and asked me to be the team's water boy, I couldn't resist. He put me at ease, telling me there would always be a spot on the bench for me with the team, and I decided that taking him up on his offer was the best option for me to continue to fulfill my love for the game. Although I wasn't able to help our team directly by scoring 20 points a game, or by finding my open teammate to allow them to get theirs. I knew that no team would ever be hydrated and ready for a game than ours, and that was enough for me. After suffering my season under ending injury and being given this amazing opportunity, I made sure I would never let down my team. Being a water boy has always been something that's looked on jokingly, but I decided to make more fun from it. Every time they were going through drills in the gym, I made sure I was right beside them. However, rather than running up and down the court, I was calculating the perfect volume of water to be dispensed into each cup for maximum hydration. I, was, I made it my passion to ensure that my teammates never experienced dry mouth during a game or practice. Maybe sometimes I took it over a little, a little bit over the top, laughing with my teammates and talking on the sideline while they were supposed to be doing drills. Sorry, coach. But personally, I think I made this season a little bit more memorable. Throughout the season, we became a very tight-knit group and looked upon each other as family rather than just teammates. We developed a trust in each other that was crucial to perform at our best. And I truly believe that throughout the year, we each became versions of, better versions of ourselves. I think it is safe to say that I played a huge part in our deep run to the playoffs this year. And I'm sure that coach and the team would back me up on that. However, it is definitely not fair for me to take all the credit for this award. This journey had brought, has brought me many obstacles and I would not have been able to complete it without the help of my coaches, my parents, and my friends. First off, I would like to take this time to thank Coach Torrance, Coach Patton, and Coach Miller. Not only for taking time away from your families and your personal lives to come help our, improve our skills as basketball players, but also for teaching us life lessons that will benefit me as I move past sports into college and eventually a career. It's fair to say that you got upset with us sometimes, especially you, Coach Patton. 
But even though you ha we got a few choice words of anger screamed in our faces from time to time, we know that you, we know that you always have our backs whenever we need it. And for that, I am grateful. Now to my parents and friends who have always been supporting me throughout my sports career, whether it was basketball, baseball, or football. I don't remember seeing very many pictures of me as a child without something sports related, whether it was a basketball in my hands or a football jersey on my back. My parents raised me to be an athlete and were always proud supporters of me. My dad, who coached every, almost every team I played for before high school, always pushed me to work harder and practice as much as I could to improve my skills. As I moved into high school and continued playing sports at a higher level, my friends and family were always there to cheer me on at every game, whether I played good or bad, regardless of if my team won or not. Their support through the years is something that I can never thank them enough for and something that has really proved their loyalty and love for me. On that note, I would once again like to thank you all for coming out tonight and naming me Water Boy of the Year. My, to my coaches and teammates, you will be missed. Go Cougars.